Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang basic differentiation formulas. Instead of the limit definition of derivative, ito yung ating gagamitin para mas madali nating makuha ang uh, derivative of a function. Pero wag natin kakalimutan na ang lahat ng differentiation rules na ito or formulas ay na-derive natin sa limit definition of derivative. Let's start with the first rule. So, the derivative of a constant term is equal to 0. Kahit anong constant term yan, ang derivative niya ay 0. Kahit pa yan 3 million, negative 1,000, ang sagot pa rin ay 0. Next, number 2, the derivative of x to the n is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. Okay, for example, we have y is equal to x squared, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2, ito yung n natin, x raised to 2 minus 1, yun yung n minus 1, then 2 minus 1 is equal to 2x. So, we have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2x or y prime is equal to 2x. Pwede rin natin sabihin y prime is equal to 2x. Pareho lang yung y prime at saka dy over dx. Next, number 3, the derivative of a constant times x to the n is equal to c times the derivative of x to the n with respect to x. For example, we have y is equal to 3x cubed. Then, we have dy over dx is equal to 3 times derivative ng x cubed. Okay? So, is equal to 3 times the derivative of x cubed. I-apply natin itong formula na ito. So, we have 3x raised to 3 minus 1 is equal to 9x square. So, dy over dx is equal to 9x square. Next, we also have the derivative of a square root function d over dx of square root of x is equal to 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay? Next, number 5, the sum or difference rule. Pwede itong plus, pwede minus. So, we have the derivative of f of x plus g of x at kahit ilan pang function na i-plus natin or i-minus with respect to x is equal to d over dx of f of x plus d over dx of g of x. For example, we have y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Then we have dy over dx is equal to, kukunin lang natin ang derivative ng bawat term. So derivative of x squared with respect to x minus derivative of 3x with respect to x plus derivative of 2 with respect to x. Then apply natin yung mga previous formulas. So the derivative of x squared is 2x raised to 2 minus 1 is equal to 2x. Okay, minus 3 times derivative of x. Okay, so magiging 3, x raised to 1 minus 1, minus 3 na lang. At derivative kasi ng constant term ay 0. So, dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 3, or y prime is equal to 2x minus 3. Sa mga examples, ituturo ko sa inyo ang uh, shortcut ng mga ito. Let us solve the following examples. Number 1, y is equal to 3x minus 7. So, tandaan, derivative of x is equal to 1. Okay? So, pag nakakita kayo ng ganito, uh, so, y is equal to 3x minus 7, kukunin natin ang derivative ng bawat term. So, derivative of 3x is equal to 3 na lang. So, y prime is equal to 3. Bakit? Dahil, 3, ita times natin sa 1 dito, ang exponent ng x ay 1. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And then, x raised to 1 minus 1. Kaya magiging x raised to 0 siya. Kaya, 1 na rin siya. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Ito namang minus 7 dito, since constant siya ay 0 ang derivative niya. So, y prime or dy over dx is equal to 3 na lang. Next, number 2. y is equal to 4x square minus 5x. So, kunin natin ang derivative ng bawat term. So, ito muna. I-multiply nyo lang yung constant at saka exponent. So, magiging y prime is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay? Next, x. 2 minus 1. Bawasan nyo lamang siya ng 1. So, yun to. Bawasan nyo lang ng 1. So, 1 siya. Kaya 8x na siya. Next, derivative of 5x. Okay, so katulad dito, derivative of 3x ay 3. So, derivative of 5x is equal to 5 na lang. So, minus 5. Okay, so ganun lang siya kadali. Next, number 3. Y prime is equal to derivative ng 8x cubed. So, 8 times 3 is equal to 24x. Bawasan nyo lang ng isa yung 3. So, magiging 2 plus 4x squared derivative nito. So, 4 times 2 is equal to 
8x. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 na lang. Minus x. So, derivative ng x is 1. Okay? So, minus 1, derivative ng constant ay 0. Okay? So, the derivative of this function is y prime or dy over dx is equal to 24x squared plus 8x minus 1. Pahala kayo kung gusto nyo gamitin ay dy over dx or y prime. Pero ako, ang ginagamit ko talaga madalas ay y prime para mas madali siyang isulat. Next, number 4. Y is equal to quantity 3x minus 1 square. So, dahil may square na tayo rito, kailangan natin siyang i-expand. So, magiging y is equal to 9x square minus 6x plus 1. Okay, and then apply the rule. So, magiging y prime is equal to 9 times 2 is equal to 18. X, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, kaya 18x na lang. Minus 6. So, derivative ng negative 6x is equal to negative 6. And derivative of the constant term is 0. Now, paano pag nagkaroon tayo ng more than 2? Okay, so kapag naging 3 ang exponent, pwede nyo siyang i-expand. Pwede rin tayong mag-apply ng another rule kaso sa mga susunod pang lessons. Yun, i-discuss. Yun ay ang chain rule. Okay? Next, number 5. Y is equal to 5 square root of x. So, magiging y prime is equal to 5. Ihiwalay lang natin yung constant. And then, kunin natin ang derivative ng square root of x. Meron ito sa formula kanina na 1 over 2 square root of x. So, magiging y prime is equal to 5 over 2 square root of x. Next example number 6. Y is equal to cube root of x square plus square root of x. Kapag nagkaroon tayo ng index na hindi naman 2, i-change na natin sila into exponential form. So, magiging y is equal to x raised to 2 thirds. Ito yung cube root of x square. And then, plus, yung square root of x, pwede rin yun siyang i-change sa exponential form para makita nyo kung bakit siya naging 1 over 2 square root of x. So, magiging y prime is equal to, kunin natin ang derivative ng x raised to 2 third by applying the power rule kanina. So, magiging uh, 2 thirds, ito yung x to the n. So, magiging 2 third x raised to 2 thirds minus 1. Ang pinakaiba lang nito, naging fraction yung ating exponent. Plus, so yung 1 half, x raised to 1 half minus 1. So magiging y prime is equal to 2 thirds x. 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. Plus, 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1 ay magiging negative 1 half. Since negative ang exponent nito, ilalagay natin sila sa denominator. So y prime is equal to... 2 over 3 x raised to 1 third plus 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half. So, pwede nang maging ganito yung sagot or i-change nyo siya into radicals. Y prime is equal to 2 over 3 cube root of x plus 1 over 2 square root of x. Next, example number 7. Y is equal to 6 fourth root of x cube minus 8 cube root of X. So, i-change muna natin sila into exponential form. So, y is equal to 6x raised to 3 fourths minus 8x raised to 1 third. And then, apply yung formula natin kanina. So, y is equal to, i-multiply natin yung 6 at 3 fourths. So, magiging 6 times 3 fourths x raised to 3 fourths minus 1. So, huwag kayong malito kung ang given ay fraction. Ganun pa rin yung process niyan. So, minus 8 times 1 third x raised to 1 third minus 1. Okay? Next, y is equal to, cancel ito, so magiging 3 at saka 2. So magiging 9 over 2 x raised to 3 fourth minus 1 magiging negative 1 fourth minus 8 thirds, wala namang makakancel dito, x raised to 2 thirds, negative. Okay, so 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. And then, ilagay natin sa denominator yung uh, x raised to negative 1 fourth at saka x raised to negative 2 thirds para maging positive yung exponent. So, magiging uh, y prime is equal to 9 over 2 x raised to 1 fourth minus 8 over 3 x raised to 2 thirds. So, pwede na ito. Or you can change it into radical form. So y prime is equal to 9 over 2 fourth root of x minus 8 over 3 cube root of x squared.